channel. I'm so happy you could join me here again for another video. I'm so excited for today's video because as you can tell from the title, we're doing another try on haul. So I ordered from Navigation. Well, my boyfriend bought me stuff for my birthday from Navigation. This is what he ordered. Okay, so we have 12 items to be trying on. I'm gonna be starting with what I'm wearing. Okay, so the price for everything was 428 American dollars duties were $61 for the first package and the second package was $54 for duties. I live in Canada. Starting with the seamless leggings. These are my new favorite leggings because of the color. I don't know if the camera picks it up that nicely. So it's a really nice lilac color. Okay, so because I am trying on a lot of items, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be listing like all the items that are similar at once. So basically, for example, Starting with the seamless leggings, I wear an extra small in all of my seamless leggings. The price for the seamless leggings are all $48, and on the site, the material says it's just a soft blend. Um, I like think it says a buttery soft blend, but it doesn't give me the actual material, so I, can't, I couldn't get that for you guys. This is the color lilac. So for the seamless leggings, basically it's seamless. There's no seam coming here, um, no seam like on the side here, but there is a nice little design that kind of contouring here. Okay, so it's just to make it not that part of your like pop more. Um, there's also an under butt contouring. You can see it there on both cheeks. There's a little triangle kind of like detail. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see there's a little triangle detail that I noticed the seamless leggings have, which I actually like. I don't mind. The waistband, as you can tell, I'll come closer so you can see the material of it. It's kind of like um, just goes up and down it looks kind of like corduroy I don't know how to explain that <laughs> but that's what the uh, waistband looks like waistband feels I want to say it feels looser than my last try on haul I still wore an extra small in my last one I don't know if that's just because it's a lighter color usually lighter colors are looser but it's comfortable it's very very comfortable as far as buttery soft blend the material described uh, on the site it is soft I feel like it's softer than the previous items that I've got. Um, it is super stretchy, as you can tell on the legs, it's super stretchy. Um, the waistband is, there's a little bit to give to the waistband, um, so you wouldn't have to sausage or squeeze into this. It does feel softer, but it's not buttery. Like when I think buttery soft blend, I think like, um, like the kind of material like Whitney Simmons collection was, I think of uh, the, what's it called? Lululemon uh, Align Leggings. That's what I think when I think buttery. This isn't buttery. It is softer, but it doesn't have that buttery feel to it. Like it's comfortable on and I love how it feels, but it almost feels kind of like a nylon. If you have tried them on, you know what I mean. It feels like a softer nylon. It's not itchy. It's not annoying. It doesn't uh, feel weird on my skin or at all. Like it feels like a second skin, <laughs> which is good. But so far I love them. Like I absolutely love these. These are definitely my favorite leggings to work out in. As far as camel toe, one hump or two hump, we're just seeing the one hump. So obviously that's what's gonna happen. That's your anatomy. When your legs come together, it's just gonna bunch up the material here. I don't mind one hump camel toe. Two hump is when I get annoyed. So, but whatever, it's not the end of the world. I still love these leggings. Yeah, this is my favorite sports bra that I own from Navigation of all the sports bras that I have from them. This is the Allure bra and this is in white, okay? So it was $24, I'm wearing an extra small and it's made from polyester and spandex blend. So I have this in white and black right now. I'm trying on the white. I love the, okay, so the only thing that annoys me when you get something in the mail is just because it's been crunched in the mail. That's what the um, bra pad looks like. So it's kind of looks like a, it's been squashed or folded in the mail, but that'll go away with time. I love this detail right here. I feel like it just adds a lot to the sports bra. It doesn't make it super boring. That's what the side looks like. I am gonna be showing you what it looks like from up and down. One thing I noticed though, if you're insecure about skin bunching anywhere, this bra um, tends to do it. So maybe size up in this bra. So my skin does bunch a little. It doesn't bother me. It really like, it's not the end of the world for me. Another thing that I noticed was it has a clasp here. There are three different settings and three clasps. Okay, so I was a little nervous to order a sports bra with a clasp just because I don't love when I wear like things with clasps because one, it can be super itchy, two, it can be super uncomfortable to work out on or like when it's pressing back against your skin, um, and three, it doesn't fit just as nicely as it would like if you were trying a sports bra without a clasp. However, Navigation did a great job with this clasp. I'll show you 
the stretchiness of it. So it's still super stretchy here. So that's nice, you can still adjust it. I really do love this sports bra though. It is my favorite um, as far as support goes. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> sorry, it's pretty supportive. One thing I wanted to mention is the um, cups are circular. So the, I have an issue with that because it just annoys me. Like you can see here that that's the cup. And I just feel like, yeah, it's good that they have this line here because it kind of feel like it's stopping it from moving completely apart. But I honestly would prefer maybe like um, a triangle cup or something just so that it's not, I don't know, it looks a little funky to me. It looks kind of like you have a double boob if you just look there. But yeah, not the end of the world, still love it. Okay, so now I am in the other bra black. Same price, same size, and same uh, material. I'll always have that on the screen. And these are the seamless leggings in sky blue. Again, seamless leggings have this, the uh, contour here, seamless on the side, and they're contouring under the glutes. One thing I wanted to mention about this is that the blue does feel a little more snug than the lilac. Very, very, very similar in sizing. It's just the, the tiniest little bit, and mostly I notice it around the waistband area. For the sports bra, I think I prefer it in black. Um, you can't really notice the cup issue that I had earlier as much with the black. And also, the only thing I would mention is that the clasps are still silver. They're not painted black or anything like that. So that might be a deal breaker for some people. For me, it's not, still love it. Camel toe, same thing. You only have the one hump camel, no double hump camel. Before I put this on and forget, I wanted to remind myself to mention this. So a lot of the sports bras like are much, like there's a lot of strings coming out. This hasn't even been stitched properly. Um, I've been noticing that a lot more with this, this year's um, haul or this month's haul, whatever. Let me show you the other sports bra. Yeah, I don't wanna ruin the seam. Strings there, inside, there's like that. Don't know, like I don't wanna pull that because I don't wanna ruin the seam. The other side, I think there was also some, yep, right at the front. There's this long piece here. And I don't wanna pull that because I don't wanna ruin the seam. <laughs> so yeah, a lot more, um, like look at that stitch is pretty messy. So that's just a little, like one thing that's frustrating. I wanted to show you guys that. I'm curious if it's just mine. If you guys ordered navigation and you're noticing a lot more seams with this haul, comment down below and let me know. Cause I'm curious if it was this whole, like the, the production of this entire um, new launch that they had, or if it's just like, maybe I just got unlucky and got one that was a little messier. But yeah, comment down below and let me know. Okay, so we are now in the next outfit, which is the Envy leggings. This was the color forest green. The price for this was $48 US. I'm wearing an extra small and the material is described as a buttery soft blend. Doesn't tell you exactly what's in it. So I'll start with the leggings. I love that there's, so for these there's no contouring. There's none on the side and none on the glutes, but it still is that same like, kind of um, design where it really just accents your glutes, um, except without any contour. So for those of, you to, those of you who don't like contouring under the glutes, these are definitely a great, great option for you. These are definitely one of my favorite um, leggings. What I like so much about these is sometimes when there's contouring on leggings, like you have to keep playing around with it as you're going on with your workout, it kind of slides and shifts out of the place that you want it to be. So you have to like continuously adjust these, it doesn't matter if it slides or shifts because there's no contouring. They're super comfortable. They are soft. So 
it does describe it as a buttery soft, but I would, they're more like the Navigation Seamless leggings. Um, they're not buttery soft like a Lion or the Whitney Simmons collection, if you guys know what that is. So it's not like super, super soft. It is softer than what their tights used to feel like, I guess if that makes sense. So maybe they just changed a little bit of something. They still feel a little bit like nylon, um, but super stretchy. So same idea as the other tights I had on. Super stretchy in the leg, tighter in the waistband. They just have the navigation label right there. I think they still have that little, yeah. They still have that little triangle look just above your glutes, but no contouring, nothing like that, which is great. This is the forest um, color. I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of a um, speckle effect to it. Let me just lift my knee up so you can see. So it's like not fully one color. It's a little bit of that speckly like green white color. But yeah, um, I really like them. So far, these are awesome. Um, there's a little bit of shine to these leggings. If you stretch them out like in certain lighting, it's nothing crazy. So don't be like stressed by that at all. One thing before lawn, same thing. Camel toe is only the one hump camel. No double hump camel, so that is great. This is the Essence Bra in black. So this was $25 US. I'm wearing an extra small and the material is polyester and spandex blend. I liked the idea of having basically a sports bra that is also a top. So this part is super, super stretchy. I'll show you up close. There's a seam that goes around here. This part is more of the top part, super stretchy. Um, you can move it kind of any way you want. This part, um, is still the same material, but because of that seam, it feels more sports bra-like. It is super tight here, so that's great. Um, tighter seam right around here, tighter seam right around the arms. One thing I wanted to mention is, yes, it is the circle padding again, so you get that weird double boob effect. Not a huge fan of that. Also, I love the back of this. Let me just show you that. We'll start off super positive. I love that it's completely, like it's basically almost backless. That it's gonna look great on a back day doing your your rows, <laughs> love how that looks. What I don't love is, okay, so if you look at it here, you kind of like see what's happening. So it's super short, it's pulling in this way, the fabric's pulling it in this way. Um, so you're gonna have to keep adjusting that just because it is backless, I understand, but I don't love this. So I feel like my, my shoulder is being pulled forward and I don't like how, let me get close. My skin kind of is, uncomfortable here. I don't like when things are super tight around my armpits. Unfortunately, this is a little bit tighter around that area. Not a huge fan of that. Yeah, so as I was saying, this area is super unflattering to me. That's the only area I care about like skin being annoying because like it just gets in the way. It feels like it's like irritated here. Um, I can try and like scoop my skin in and then it just looks like that on the fabric and it's really high. Like it's really in an awkward position. I just wish it was a little lower cut so it would give my my arm here um, and my lat some space so it's not like my lat is pressing into this material. But overall, not horrible. I've seen a lot worse for backless or like trying to be like mostly backless sports bras. So far, like they did a good job of not making it too, too uncomfortable. Like I can deal with it. Um, I just have to like pull my shoulders back a little harder. It's fine, not the end of the world. They did a good job with this design. I guess they did the best that they could. I still love it, still a fan. <laughs>
Also, um, because it is a different material, the waistband is immediately like when I put it on, it wasn't as snug as I would like it to be for an extra small. So the legs don't have as much stretch to them, but the waistband I feel like has a lot more. So it's the opposite of what I look for in a legging. Um, so let me roll that up. You can tell that the waistband, like you see, it like bunches more in certain areas. Um, this kind of material is more likely to show just like small things like that. So like you move around and then it shows a little bit of bunching, which is fine. You just pull it up and it's okay. There's a seam here, a seam that goes all the way around and a middle seam. You guys all know how I feel about a middle seam. I was so nervous to order this because I don't like middle seams. I don't like that when you have a middle seam, you're more likely to get the double hump camel. So let's see what it looks like. So far, they did a pretty good job. Um, I haven't hiked them up, so that's why I don't have a double hump camel. A little bit of a single hump, barely though, not, not too much. What they did was they did a seam that has like a double seam here, tried like, I guess, to avoid that, which I like. Uh, it also has a seam in the back. So right here, there's a seam. Another reason I don't really like seams is because they move from side to side. So like the middle of the seam should be here. But like it's it moves. It's hard to like keep the seam in the proper spot. It kind of goes off on the side. Not a huge fan of that because as I get on with my workout, I don't want to have to like keep fixing the pants, pulling my pants up, all of that. But yeah, another thing that I don't. So I saw these on the try on haul that uh, Ashley did, and I loved them. I was like, oh my god, that's such a cute outfit. But I'm a shorter person. And I don't love how it looks. It looks like I'm wearing a one piece. Um, I would definitely wear these separately. I won't wear them together. If only it was like literally that much shorter here or on the waistband, then I would like it. But because it comes, it overlaps it. I don't like that overlapping look. Maybe I'll wear it to like yoga instead of the gym, but don't love like how it looks at the back. It's not too bad. It's more so just at the front. Like I don't love how this area looks. And I really don't like how it's kind of cutting in it's giving me that like irritated feeling where I feel restricted and I don't like that. Um, but the material is soft and you have to give them props for that. I do like the color. I love gray, um, but yeah, so far not my favorite outfit of the collection. And I will definitely just be wearing it not together. I'd be wearing it differently. One more thing that I wanted to mention, um, this material, if you have cellulite, most of us do, it is going to show. It's not going to hide that, um, if I can show you some more on my butt, <laughs> but let's see. Yeah, so flexing, you see a little bit of cellulite. This material won't hide it. One, because it is a softer material, it's just not gonna do the like hiding it for you. Two, the color of it, because it's just a solid color, it is just gray, it's not gonna hide that for you. Whereas the other uh, seamless ones are kind of like a, a speckled coloring to them, it will hide it. But because this is solid, it's gonna show cellulite, cellulite's fine, it's natural, everybody has cellulite, everybody has fat cells in their body. Fat cells don't just disappear, they just shrink and expand, so everybody has them, it's not something to be insecure about, but if you are still learning how to cope with having cellulite or how to welcome it instead of push it away, then you might not want to try this set as your first set. Okay, again, I wanted to show you the seams are looking a lot messier here. We've got some strings hanging out. I'm always afraid, yeah. Don't wanna pull that at all because I don't want to ruin the seam. I don't wanna ruin the sports bra, which is super annoying because I don't know what to do with it now. Um, like the seams just all together just look messier. Let me know if that's how your navigation order looked. Like the inside, I don't necessarily care about. It's just when like the outside looks messy like that, it just drives me nuts. Okay, so moving on to our next outfit. We are wearing, well, I am wearing the joggers in cloud gray. This was $45 American. I am wearing a size extra small and the blend is a super soft blend materials. Doesn't tell you what. So the joggers, um, love them. Absolutely love the color. 
darker gray. I do have the other gray joggers. Um, I was worried that they were going to be a similar gray, absolutely different kind of gray, and I love that. The pockets go to here. Um, these feel softer than my other joggers. I don't know if it's because I've washed my other joggers um, quite a bit from wearing them a lot, but these feel a lot softer, more comfortable. The waistband sits right where my waistline is, so right at the smallest part of my waist, which I like. The tights go maybe like a half an inch above the smallest part of my waist. Um, it just has a simple design here that says navigation, enemy, GTN. Uh, the lace, oh yeah, so the tie is white. It has these little plastic things, which is cool. The back looks like that. A uh, tiny like seam running up here, not super noticeable seam, I like it a lot. So let's move on to the trio bra. I have other trio bras, I think I have like white and black. This is the mauve purple, and it was $23. I am wearing an extra small, and the material for this is polyester spandex blend. The material actually, for the sports bra, feels pretty similar to these pants, so I would assume that that's the soft blend they're talking about. Probably around the same, almost the exact same as the sports bra. It feels very, very similar, same stretch to it. Oh my god, yeah, I think that's what it is. So that's what my, if you were like guessing what it was, the closest blend it would be to that is this blend here. So, Trio Sports Bra. Again, all of their sports bra have these weird circles, circle pads. I don't like circle padding. I just don't like that double bump at all. Don't like it. I don't think it's flattering. The color is cute. I think it would look better if I had a fake tan on, but because I don't, this is what it looks like. I still really like this color. This is what the back looks like. I love their Trio Sports Bras. I don't feel any uncomfortable areas around my um, like armpit area, it doesn't bother me, it's not too, too tight. One thing I notice though, about their stuff sometimes, they put, like on the other side of this has like the size like extra small, but here it just looks like wrinkled fabric. Let me show you, oh my gosh. See how it like has all their little info there? When you look at it here, it just looks like the fabric was wrinkled, it was like iron on poorly or something like that. That's the only issue I have with this, other than that, I love their Trio Sports Bras and I love their joggers. You really can't complain about anything else on these items. Oh, and supportiveness. It is supportive for me. Um, I think it would be supportive really for any, any size as long as you're ordering the right size sports bra for you. It's pretty supportive at the bottom. The band here is really thick. Listen to that snapback. <laughs> yes, it's really thick. I like it. Super supportive. Big fan of both of these items. Okay, moving on to our final outfit. Um, I am wearing the joggers in berry this time. Same price, all of that is on the screen. And the open back tee, which was $25. Um, I'm wearing an extra small and it is a mix of polyester and spandex. Um, color black, yeah, I already said that. So <laughs> the joggers love this color. This color is so rich. I did not, like I saw pictures of it. I did not expect for it to be this um, just like out there, like you're gonna walk into the gym in these and people are gonna notice you because the color is just so different. Like I've never seen this color really on anything else. The camera, I don't think it's picking it up. Actually, it's doing an okay job of picking it up. I feel like it's still a little bit nicer in person. It's got a white tie. Um, basically, oh, okay, another thing that I noticed about the joggers that I'm kind of annoyed with. You see the pockets, like on both the top and the bottom of these pockets, there's a tiny little string here. Don't know how to get rid of that. I guess I could just like burn it down, but I just don't wanna burn the joggers, but they're so soft. Love the joggers. Everything's basically the same as the gray joggers. So let's get into the open back tee. Did not expect to love this as much as I do. This t-shirt is awesome. One thing, you don't wear a sports bra under it. So this is what the back looks like. Obviously you're not gonna wear a sports bra under it because it's an open back tee. This though is pretty loose. Like. I'm surprised that it's so loose for like a top that you wouldn't wear a sports bra with. It does have built in, not built in, but it does have removable cup um, pads for 
your nipples, I guess. <laughs> so it does have these um, in it. It is like they do move pretty high though. I don't know why they're like way up here. I wish that they stitched so it would stay lower. So you kind of have to adjust those. But yeah, I'm surprised that it's so loose here because I feel like the, like the band here should have been a little tighter just so that nothing happens while you're working at the gym. Like it doesn't feel loose. Like I can put my hands up and everything and it's still comfortable. It's not annoying. I can do all kinds of like motions with it without it being annoying, but I will be pulling it down often. Um, the arms, tighter on the armpits. So those of you who get annoyed by stuff touching your armpits a lot, it is a little tighter on the armpits. It bunches up quite a bit. It can be annoying. I could picture that being annoying after a workout. You just have to keep pulling it down. Love the neckline. So it kind of just goes around like that. It's comfortable. It doesn't feel like anything's like choking me. I hate having stuff like right against my neckline when I'm working out. So this I'll actually see myself working out in because it's not like a friggin' turtleneck, okay? Love that, I love that about this. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's try on haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. And if you've done both of those already, go ahead and click that little bell to turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video with me again. All of that being said, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And thanks to all of my subscribers for subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me and it makes me just want to produce more content for you guys. So thanks so much. I hope to see you here for my next video.